Hey, what's up, guys? Deathgrip Zero Zadoichi here. Um, and we're finally, finally continuing the adventures of Gonad. We've spent three hours of my life trying to get this to work on his end. Yeah, I uh, I got a new laptop, and I didn't like do any of the preliminary stuff until today to get like everything up and running. <laughs> so. Let's just... I, Go ahead. I, I've taken up drugs. <laughs> I've taken up a lot more than drugs. So I'm going to show off the deck real quick. Um, this video, we're actually not going to be continuing... Showing people your deck. We're not going to be continuing the story at all. Um, we're actually going to be doing some grinding. Uh, because... Behold, as we make no progress. Because <laughs> it's kind of impossible to continue this game without getting some good cards. So our deck is really loaded, actually got a ton of stuff. La la loon. Got a bunch la, of dragon lilo. treasures. La, la, lilo. Got a dragon capture jar. That's dragon capture J. Oh, it's dragon capture jar. J. A mountain. Raigeki. More dragons and thunders. A, a megamorph. Fox. Cheese. Me megamorph is the thing that we really need to, need to get. And another bright castle. Got some acid. A severed head. Skull knights. And then three Meteor Bee Dragons. Meteor fucking bee fucking dot fucking dragon. So, let me show Q you how kazoos. we... <laughs> What's up? I said Q kazoos. Let me show you how we got to this point. So, uh... Oh, just 50 wins against Jono. Uh, 200 wins against Meadow Mage. Oh, poor Meadow Mage. And then 58 wins against Pegasus. Um, so Pegasus is what we're going to be grinding against. And we can't just S-POW him. We have to S-Tech him. So I'm going to show you how to do that. That is that is the goal for this episode. Also, <laughs> Drew, if you didn't catch on, be, you're going to have to keep the timer now. Oh, joy. Uh, this episode doesn't matter because we're just going to S-Tech him and that will be the episode. But now on your, when I'm recording, you have to be the timer. Your timer now. Alright, so, so... Let's start. The point of S-Tacking him is to get him to deck out or get to zero cards and beat him. Being that we're on the play, we have to do this very carefully. This hand is not actually not suited well to do that. But So our first move, your first move is to set down your biggest monster in face-up attack mode. And then he's going to play a monster and hopefully it's going to be defense mode. Yeah. Okay, now you play your biggest monster again in face-up attack mode, and then you don't do anything, you pass turn. And then he's gonna play another monster. Uh, okay, so we are just going to concede here. We've already lost. What? Yeah, it is that stupid. We're already bred? Yeah, we already lost. I think there's no actual quit button, you just have to fucking yeah, I just have to do throw this. yourself upon his sword. Good news is he'll be he'll defeat me this turn. There are actually ways that it isn't defeat here, but it's so complicated and it's just not worth it because it'll just come down to the point where it'll be too late in the game. I feel like this is going to be absolutely riveting. Oh my god, I hate why do you think I stopped doing this? It's brutal. <laughs> a win takes 20 minutes. So wait, this is going to be our entire episode. I just said that, didn't I? Oh yeah, you did. I suppose. s taking Pegasus is an entire episode. Okay, so that's a lot better. So are you going to record us multi like doing multiple s techs on Pegasus and like have them each be an episode? Uh, that was not the goal. Like I said, okay, I'm going to off-screen a lot of that. But Okay. Okay, so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to set a spell. So I played my biggest creature and I set a spell. And now he fuses. And now we have a chance. So now from here on out, we just have to kill all of his monsters. There are like a bajillion monsters in this in this game. Yet the only ones you ever see are like Flame Cerberus, Twin Headed Thunder Dragon, Meteor Black Dragon. And like, that's it. Like a bunch of poop monsters. 
on the occasional stone D. Mmm, stone D. Na, 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 na. Yep, and then this is the rest of the game. We are just going to slowly wipe out his stuff until he decks out. We can never fuse, not once. Okay. So. Yeah. You want to find something to talk about? Or are you, uh... <laughs> <laughs> well, you know, the game is supposed to do that for us, but... Yeah, it, it would normally, wouldn't it? Um... Yeah, the, like I said, I have been dreading doing this because it is actually just terrible. We fused there, but it's because we fused on board. We can't fuse two cards from our hand. Or else that would put us below his card amount. I feel like I could tap out and go do something else and still be able to provide the same amount of the same level of commentary at the moment. Commentary? No. Entertainment? Probably. Well then. I told you this this is the main reason why I've been dreading doing this. Ideally See here's the problem. I cannot do this. I have two options really with the channel or with this playthrough. I could I could do it all in post. So like I could beat the game and just keep doing run throughs and beat it. In post and then just eliminate all this all my failures. Okay. Or I could grind a whole bunch until it's like impossible for me to fail when I have all the me well not impossible because it's all luck based obviously but when I have all the mega morphs and spells that I need like Raigeki's mega morphs and the bright castles and stuff. The third option is we just keep going at it and if we fail we fail. Just so you know, I'm playing Metal Gear Rust. <laughs> Another window now. Did you? Add, I I warned you, didn't I? You can't say I didn't. I guess so. So, what do you think is the best option? Do I grind off screen? Well, we every other game that's required some form of grinding, we've done it off screen. So. But I mean, I've been grinding off screen for this for about two years now. Have mercy on the poor audience. <laughs> well, I mean. My other options. Did you catch what my other options were? Mm, okay. Run them by me again. Okay. I'll have to fix that later. Um, the other options are I could just keep. I could grind a little bit more and not go like full out grinding. <clears throat> And then we could just go at it, attempt and attempt and attempt until I finally succeed and just record it all live. Fuck it, we're doing it live. But it might, I don't know how long it might take. Shit. And he just played Dragon Capture Jar. And the thing I hate about Dragon Capture Jar is after you play it, it takes a good like 10 seconds afterwards for it to continue. Okay. Okay, so the options are I could just grind off screen until I know I can't. I know I have the best possible deck, which might take weeks. I can just grind a little bit and then just try my best to get to, and we just keep recording until I get it. Or I can just do it all off screen, and then whenever I finally succeed, I just show that part and we commentate and post. I'd say do it off screen to be honest. Like I said, well, everything else we've done is basically but what in type grind of off screen, screen. Though, what do you mean? What type of off screen? Do we just don't do it on camera? I mean, do I beat the game off screen? Oh, or... don't no. Well, that I just told you two different types off screen. I told you I can grind off screen, and then we can try to beat it live. I can grind until I can. I can grind off screen. Only the grind bits off screen, and then do the actual story on screen. Okay. Is now, that... how long do you want me to grind for? Do you want me to grind until I'm pretty reasonably sure I can do it, or do you want to grind until it's roughly about until I think I'm until, until I you're confident? 
Okay. So confident, not completely sure. And do you just want to keep throwing attempt after attempt and see if we get through it? Well, it, like after so many failures, do some more, some more grinding. Yeah, that's what I mean. Yeah. Well, okay. I mean, like that, that, that. I mean, failures make for good content as well. Yeah. I mean, you have to, like where we're at right now is we're about to fight the high whatever. Haitian. Yeah. No, not Haitian. Um, the high meadow plains guy oh you haven't beat him yet no you mean oh you mean the, the gate guardian the, guy propelled pre prepared to season yourself yes but after i beat him i have to do the gauntlet i have to face i think seto again i have to do all this sort of stuff so i'm like I'm like four episodes away from beating it, like four decently sized episodes. But like, it's tough because I'm going to be facing Gate Guardians and the Blue Eyes Ultimates and stuff. So I basically need to ensure that I can make a, a 4500 okay. guy. I will say right now that I know we've beaten that guy without having to do all this ridiculous grinding with like a lower power deck than what you have now. Yes, but we've never beaten the game without cheats. Hmm. Well... I can actually say, uh, th I'm actually pretty sure I can say with confidence, I've beaten this guy on my own without having to do this. Oh yeah, I'm not worried about him as much as I am Blue Eyes Ultimate and stuff. You know? That is very true. Like, that's the thing I'm really worried about. This doesn't feel like an episode, this feels like a weird behind the scenes episode. I mean, that's what I originally meant to make this episode, it was just kind of like going to be a bonus episode where we, where I show off a little ah. bit of and stuff. Okay. Yeah, this isn't an actual real episode for me. This is just... I mean, <clears> this is going to get posted, but it's not... Like, I'm not, like, making this, like, aha, I'm super proud of this episode. This is me basically showing you what I've had to do the past, like, forever. Yeah, I was going to say, you should indicate that, so, uh... It will be. It will be labeled as a bonus episode. So our four viewers know what they're getting into if they watch it. Yeah. Because this is, this is murderous, isn't it? I know you're not really watching it, but like. I mean, I, I don't have the I don't have the uh, P, I don't have PPS SPP fully uh, like full screen or anything. Like I'd still see like a fragment of your screen. Okay, he has 14 cards left in his deck, so that means it's a minimal. I can see that. Yeah, it's 14 more turns. <clears throat> like I can just I I just can't see like the. Uh, you don't need to worry about the field. The bottom field right, uh, like the bottom right uh, quarter of the of the screen is. Uh, cut off for me. Yeah. And the thing is, you have to S Tech Pegasus to get Megamorphs, and it's not even guaranteed. I've gotten terrible, terrible cards. Oh crap, I forgot to attack. Ugh. Did he just Regeki you? Oh yeah, he has three Regekis and three, uh. Um, Dragon Capture Jars. We need to actually get a. Uh... Um, being that this is kind of like a behind the scenes episode, I also want to talk about what uh, my plans are for after this. I do want to do Duel of the Roses. I'm super. I think... I'm super excited about that game. <clears throat> Obviously, I'm not going to immediately go right into it, and that game is nowhere near as tough as this one. That, that game actually, it doesn't require 80 hours of grinding. I do eventually, personally, want to record uh, Armored Core and Armored Core Project Phantasm, and uh, also uh, the first Dino Crisis, eventually. I gotta, I gotta practice with the first Dino Crisis and get a little better with it. Yeah. I mean, I know personally that I wanna... Um... So the main reason we're playing Dino Crisis 2 is because I can fire through that pretty quick. Yeah. I personally like I, I want to. There's a lot of games that I personally want to do that I don't know how interested you'd be in joining me for. But like I want to do, Shoot. I want to I want to do the original Crash trilogy. I want to do the original Spyro trilogy. I can um, hang out for that. Yeah. Uh, once I get my uh, Roxio back, I can do a lot of those better. Obviously, I want to do a huge thing for Castlevania because I want to run through it as Alucard. I want to do it with um, Richter, and I want to do it in hard mode. So that would be like a, a really long extended series sort of thing. I do think we should vary our recordings. Obviously. I mean, that's not something I would do back to back to back to back to back to back to back. It would be like, 
I'll beat it as Cap Alucard, and then I'll revisit it later and do it as Richter, and then revisit it later and do it hard mode. Yeah, that's the main reason why I uh, I caved and start, we started doing Metal Gear Acid and Dino Crisis instead of uh, Last Raven, because we just recorded a Armored Core game. Five cards left. Although I'd say Last Raven is different enough to actually justify it. Yeah, like I want to I want to mix things up, but I like I have a lot of things I want to record. Like I want to do like Medieval, and Medieval Two. I, I basically, if it's a game that I enjoyed as a child, I want to be able to do it. Uh, one of these days, yeah, because before you uh, before you actually come over here again, I want to get RPS RPS Two up and running again. Because I actually found my first disc, the Nexus. I don't know exactly where it's at currently, but I did find it again. Yeah. So I mean, I, I have my PS2. I also have... And I want to record... Old... Mm, I want to record Nexus with uh, your Roxio. Yeah, I have the old PS2 still. Um... That might end up being how we do uh, Last Raven is through. Is use, uh, Ro use your Roxio in an actual copy. Yeah. Because... Or unless I get somehow acquire a better computer. Well, I'll see. I mean, obviously, to all the people watching this, you have to understand that, like, we have... I've never been more excited to be recording than I am now. Um, I, I've just... Hey, we're about to win. Oh, sweet. Um, I... I just, uh, I like, I have so many project ideas, and obviously I want to continue with Terraria. Hey, we won! Yay! Yay, everybody! Yay! I really want to do something, uh, multiplayer that's 3D. Yeah. Like, I, kinda, like, I want to record, like, a shooter or something together. And you know what we got? Puppet Ritual. I did all that just to get Puppet Ritual. Like I said, there's no. The fates guarantee. are still against us today. I mean, I've won like fi this is my 59th win against him, and my like spoils from him are like one bright castle, one mega morph, two dragon treasures, and that's about it. And an acid trapple, and that's it. I'll give you an acid trapple. All right, everyone, that is it for this episode. Um, I think it took like we're at 15 minutes. minutes. Well, you started recording after we started a little bit after we started. No, it was it was only like a minute. We, eh. we go go another five. What am I gonna do? I don't know, masturbate. Again, ooh, no... car shop got a Johnny Sasaki. Nice. I guess I could do another Pegasus Aztec. Uh, or you could just like do like a regular game, like just go beat the crap out of somebody real quick. Yeah, let's show off how powerful my deck is. Uh, I wonder what happens if I upgrade Johnny Sasaki. I'll just beat up on the Meadow Mage real quick. Yeah. So Johnny Sasaki is like a kind of main-ish character in, in Metal Gear Solid 4. Like the same Johnny Sasaki from Metal Gear Solid 1. Huh, interesting. He's, 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 uh, he's part of the Rat Pack. Okay. Uh, Meryl's unit. Although they call him Akiba or something like that. It's like a nickname. I can't remember exactly. But he's like fucking crazy. Like, go, like, if you get a chance, you should go look at the footage. It's like a cutscene with him in it. It's hilarious. Because, it, like, his, uh, nano machines didn't take and they, like, drove him insane. Yeah. For all the people watching, the thing I'm actually playing, um, oh fuck, that's right. Blech. Press judge. Yeah. I made a I made a mistake, and that's why I'm losing this. So you're losing. I mean, I'm winning this still, but see how powerful his deck is, guys. Sorry, I had to be a sarcastic bitch. Uh, so the upgraded version of Johnny Sasaki is called Stomach Cramp. Huh. It, it reduces the cost. 
All right, That's nice though, Johnny's is nice. It's easily one of my favorite like, it's easily one of my favorite cards in the game. That not uh, briefing. See, we got an S rank on that and got a bottom dweller. Yeah. Woo. You never got to use briefing, I don't think. All right, I think I'm gonna call this episode here because it's it's a mini episode, and I think we took a little bit longer to start the the timer. All right then. I think we did. All right, everyone. Thank you for joining us for this bonus episode. Um, actual Forbidden Memories content will be coming out soon. Okay. See you, everyone. See ya.